Hi, I'm Sonia Mainstone Cotton and this little video is for managers about how do you support staff in the return to the workplace in June for nurseries, for preschools, early year settings. Obviously the lockdown period has been a very strange time for everybody and you would have been working incredibly hard over the last few weeks at the government's latest announcement over the reopening. Um, and some of you would have stayed open, but it's obviously going to look different in June. So some of the other videos I'm going to do are around how you support staff. But I think it's really important for us to do a video around managers and how you find support and what you do as managers. This is going to be a difficult time for everybody. Um, some of your staff will have had an okay time during the lockdown. They, there would have been disadvantages and, and it would have been very strange but actually in other ways they might have been fine, they might have found the lockdown quite good and they might have had a garden and lots of outdoor opportunity and wonderful times with their family and other members of your staff will have had a very different experience. Um, they may have had bereavement, they may have been isolated and been on their own or not being able to see very close family which was difficult. I think given that these circumstances probably one important thing for you to do is to spend some time as a staff team before your children arrive. Having time together to, um, you're going to have to get your setting ready and I guess many of you have been doing that already but if possible having time together as a staff team to spend time with one another, to touch base again, to catch up with each other to find out what happened for one another. You may have been in contact with one another during the lockdown period, but it's still not the same, is it, as having those face-to-face -face conversations. So having that chance to, to be with each other and also to reminisce about what you did before lockdown. What was good about the work? What was good about your nursery? What was going well in your early years setting before lockdown happened? as a way of reminding one another about what is possible, what your ethos is, who you are as a group of people and how you're going to move this forward. This is going to be very difficult for everybody. It's not going to be easy. However, there are many amazing things that you can do as a staff team, but I think having your staff in a good place, feeling that they are being looked after and cared for is really important. So having those few days together as a staff team before you start to have children in is a way of looking after yourselves as a team, which I think is really important. You will have given a lot of thought to how the environment's going to look and what you're going to do when children return and working out how many children are returning and how many children you can have and how you're going to do all of those. I'm sure you've all done that incredibly well. But you also need to think about how, as a manager, how you're going to look after your staff. As well as looking, thinking about how you look after your children, you need to give thought to what you can do for your staff, what you can do to support them. They are probably going to need additional time to talk about how they're feeling and recognising what's going on for them and that those feelings will change. So just in the way that at the initial lockdown we were having waves of feelings and it felt very difficult and very different in different place, at different times. I think it will be the same when we return. There will be waves of feelings again and there will be moments where you feel fine and then other moments where you're a bit overwhelmed by it all. And your staff need to know that that's okay, that that might happen, but that you're there as a manager to help to support them, just in the way that you would have supported them before, you'll still support them now. And what that support looks like is going to be different for every setting, but things like ensuring that your supervision is in place and you've got good supervision practice. You may need some additional team meetings as a way of just holding people, giving people that opportunity to to say what it is that's on their mind, to express those worries and concerns that they have, to feel that they have a voice, and recognising that those emotions are okay, whatever they, whatever those emotions are and how varied they are, our, em our emotions are neither right nor wrong. It's about acknowledging that and recognising that. Encouraging staff to have other people that they can talk to. 
and for you as a manager to make sure that you've got people to check in with, to make sure that you've got places that you can go, people that you can talk to, if possible, other people in the same position as you. So you're able to have those conversations and go, oh, this is really hard. And that whoever's listening to you will understand that. There's going to be a little film on later about um, self-care and staff well-being and what people can do to support themselves. But for you as managers, remembering that your self-care is really important. You need to be looking after yourself. You are not able to look after your staff and they are not able to look after their children if they're not in a good place. You can't look after your staff if you're not in a good place. So you need to really take care of yourself. Make sure that you are getting rest. Make sure that you have people that you can talk to. Make sure that you're eating well. Make sure that you're doing things in the day that make you feel good, that make you feel happy, whatever that looks like for you. Putting those things in place. And by doing that, modelling that to your staff team, so talk about that when you have those meetups. You could say, I went for a walk this morning because I was feeling quite stressed and I knew that walking would help me. Or I made sure I went to bed really early last night and had a long hot bath in quiet without children around because I knew that I needed that downtime. So model that in the way that we talk about modelling to parents, model those good practices to your staff. Some of the other videos I'm going to be doing is around supporting staff well-being and there will be other ideas in there that can help you with that. Thank you for listening.